Ciao svima, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefan, you can find me on Instagram by the name Stefan T T T or in English Stefan T T T and the country I decided to do a review on for today is Poland. Now, if you want to know what I think about the performance and what is my rating of the song, then keep on watching. Now guys, I don't know if you noticed, but every time I'm doing a different country, I'm really giving my best to find something to wear in my wardrobe that will uh, blend me in in the colors of the flag of the country I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Now today I am Polish all the way. Red, white, red. So Poland, here we go. Poland has interesting entries. For example, last year they went with Tulia and I saw on the internet that some of the people are trying to compare this year's Ukraine's presenters with Tulia's last year, but Tulia's were just the ethnic sound and nothing else. For me, I wasn't a fan of Tulia's last year. As for this year's Ukraine performance, I am extremely, extremely excited about it. Now, as for the previous years of Poland in Eurovision, there was just one year where I really enjoyed a Poland's performance. I think it was in 2018. It had some kind of a dance sound, but to be honest, I don't remember the song. Now, Poland is a really powerful competitor when it comes to junior Eurovision. They are always in the top, if not the winners. And <laughs> they always send these children with very, very, very contemporary music, very modern dance music. And I really hope that Poland will do the same thing in the big event, in the grand Eurovision, because I want that type of music on Eurovision. Something that will stay in our memories, not something boring. Poland has this interesting way of choosing their representer. They have this little competition where three artists are performing and they're not just performing the song for Eurovision, they also do the cover, the acoustic cover version of some of the previous winners. So, the winner of this year's Poland's competition uh, is Alicia Szemplinska. I Tell me if I got it right, I'm gonna say it again. Alicia Szemplinska and her song for this year is called Empires. Now before I start reviewing the song, let me just give you a little info about this girl. So she is the winner of the last year's The Voice of Poland. So we already expect her to sing very, very well. Uh, besides that, I don't know much about her except that she's only 17 years old. So she is very young and it's really brave of her to even think about going to Eurovision amongst, you know, all those crazy people that she's gonna meet out there. So for a 17 year old to compete on Eurovision, that's already a big plus. Now, let's not waste our time and let's just say what this song is about. Is this going to be modern? Is this going to make me excited? Am I gonna become Polish after this? Am I gonna love it? Let's see what it's all about. Okay, let's go. Violence, da, 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 da. so it's gonna be a ballad, nothing modern probably. There is a text behind her, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Is this like the text of her song? Ashes to ashes, dust into dust. Okay, her voice is really beautiful. I mean, we already expected her to be a great singer. It's so deep. Okay, let's hear. I follow you through black. Try to forgive that I'm not awake. Dreaming this dream could last. Beautiful voice, as I said. Now, I don't like... Okay, this is a very small studio, it's a very intimate atmosphere. However, I don't like that text in the background. It looks like, I mean, it's look, it looks like they're in some karaoke bar. We don't want that for Eurovision, right? So it's a rock ballad with the drums. So 
So she's playing with fire here with all the crazy people on Eurovision. Yes, you are playing with fire, girl. <laughs> Beautiful voice, really beautiful voice. <laughs> I cannot, the tags behind it, this is so ridiculous. Like, what, what the fuck with the tags, Poland? It's like the karaoke is going, <laughs> it doesn't matter. However, it's a good trick. I'm really reading the text. We're gasoline in a match. Okay. the Christina Aguilera vibes. Oh, the lady with the ponytail enjoys it. Oh, look at the face. I'm just, <laughs> look at the face. I've just stopped that right now. All right. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I can't with those faces. <laughs> Why are they recording the faces? This girl is so beautiful. Record her. We want to see her emotion, not like the lady with glasses. Okay, she's she's feeling it, but I want to see the performer. <laughs> Definitely Christina Aguilera. We rise and fall Move to the flame as we do There must be a bang now I want some high notes banging I don't know Something needs to happen Except that lady in the glasses the With the glasses <laughs> Like a bird to a pane of glass Don't mention glass Okay guys, so this is a ballad. It's like a rock pop ballad. This girl, she really has a beautiful voice. She really can, you know, reach those heights and depths. Regarding her singing, everything is perfect. Regarding her looks, she looks like a lady. She is very well dressed. Everything is so subtle with that white suit. She looks older, however, classy. I like the way she looks. Very beautiful girl with a beautiful voice. Now, with that being said, let's talk about the song. Honestly, this is not my type of jam. I love ballads, don't get me wrong. I really enjoy ballads, but when ballads actually stay in my head, like the last years that won, if your ballad is not something everybody in the audience are gonna sing it, then please don't come with the ballads because we're gonna forget your ballad. I don't think this is going to qualify at all. It's gonna be like 11th place in the semifinal or 12th because audience will not remember this in the competition. Now the other ballad I actually covered on this channel was Arilena Ara, the representer of Albania. That ballad had something different, was darker. I really saw the emotion in Arilena, so that ballad will qualify because it is stronger. This type of ballad, this is just something we already heard, not on Eurovision, but on a daily basis. This is just a typical pop rock ballad. Nothing special. The only thing that is special about this ballad is her singing, and her singing is really carrying out the whole song. For the song, honestly, I'm really sorry, Poland. I'm really sorry for all you out there who will like the song. For me, this is not my cup of tea. 
I mean, if you want the ballad, guys, give me something. Give me all I know, all I know. Loving you is a losing game. So give me something I will feel. Give me something we're all going to light our lighters and we're gonna be like, oh. If not, if your ballad is something like this on Eurovision, even you in a few years are gonna forget that you sang this song on Eurovision. I mean, it's not embarrassing. This, so this type of songs are not embarrassing. They're just playing it safe. That's just too safe and it's not gonna stand out. This girl is young, she still has a lot of time ahead of her, you know, to find herself in the genre she wants to. With her voice, I can hear that she really has the vibe of Christina Aguilera and all that, all that, all those ups and downs. I heard that some of the people are comparing this to Rise Like a Phoenix. No, no, people, this cannot be compared with Rise Like a Phoenix because Rise Like a Phoenix is the song that is gonna be remembered for eternity of Eurovision history. For this song, you're going to forget that exists even after it passes. If not, most of you are gonna even, you know, uh, use the opportunity to go to the toilet while this song is on. I'm sorry, Polish people, for all these words. I'm sorry, Poland, but I just don't like this. I don't feel this. It's boring. It's already seen. It's safe. So my rating for this, I'm not gonna be too... <laughs> I'm not gonna be too harsh. I already said the worst things ever. But my rating is going to be a three. I gave this a 3 just because she's young, she's beautiful, she sings well, she looks like a lady, you know, she is subtle, she is classy, and that's why my mark is a 3, not a 1. In any other case, for me, I will not even, you know, rate this because honestly, I don't care for things like this on Eurovision. I just don't care about this, so it's a 3, hate me for this, but I don't like it. Sorry, I don't. Now guys, thank you so much for watching me today and please, if you like this video, please do like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please share your thoughts about this song. What do you think about this song? Is it boring? Does it make you excited? Do you actually feel it? Polish people, you are allowed to hate me for this. I'm not gonna be angry. And yeah, that will be it for today. Thank you one more time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!